me tell you something, ladies. Ladies only. Men are lucky. They don't get UTIs. <laughs> but we do. Uh, so fucking extra. Why? Why do we get them and they don't? They get to have their man parts all out and flopping around. And women parts are so sensitive to things like, you know, different laundry soap. Or those pretty little sprinkles you can put in your laundry that makes it smell like the islands. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, so just got out of the doctors. And I have a witchy, amazing witchy video for you that I can't get out of my computer because my um, editing uh, software crashed yet, uh, Sunday night. And I have now re-downloaded it but I guess I have to take off the old one to see if it'll work at all but in the meantime you know my coochie's on fire well no it just feels like pressure and fuck UTIs suck and it wasn't even for a good reason it was over laundry not why you usually get a re UTI yeah, it wasn't even for the fun way you get a UTI. Because God knows that hasn't happened in you. So, well, since you have, obviously. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just irritable and can't get my computer to work right and hoping I can fix it. Or Michael, what's crazy is I already, it, there was so much editing to this witchy video. And I've already done all the work, all the work, and now I can't get it. I can't get it to to go into the format I need it to go into and then upload. I mean, I didn't do all the editing. There's like maybe four little things I could, but if I could just get it to upload, I wouldn't even care. I would add them on like in a separate little mini video. Like I'm seriously like freaking out that this whole video, like literally hours of work is gonna be like so I'm just like freaking out I I don't know what to do I guess I'm just I'm gonna bring it all into Michael tomorrow because today I was just to go to work but I didn't go to work because I have a UTI and that sucks and this is the second time I had well no I don't think it ever went away the first time I don't think they had me on the right stuff so this time I'm hoping it goes away. I'm starving. It's 3 o'clock. Once again, haven't eaten. Why am I fat? I don't know why I'm fat. I don't fucking eat. But haven't eaten, run around, got a Christmas tree. Oh, that's another thing. Completely lost our Christmas trees. Coleman came over, went in the attic. Nothing's there, Ma. I'm like, what do you mean nothing's there? We have two trees up there. Nothing's there, Ma. Two trees. Not one. Where, what? How is that possible? I don't know, but there's no Christmas trees. Maybe they're in the shed. Okay, I don't recall them going to the shed, but okay. Let's go to the shed. Let's go to the shed. We all go to the shed. No, no Christmas trees in here. Well, my house is 900 square foot. It's a cottage. I don't own a home, I own a cottage. It's right next to the water, but I own a cottage. So where's the trees? <laughs> Nobody can find them. I don't know how they could be missing. I have no idea how they could be missing. I'm like lost. So I was like, all right, uh, guess I'm gonna go get a trick. Now Cohen says, no, no, I'll come back Tuesday and we'll find them. I don't know where you're gonna find like a six foot tall box with a tree in it. There's not that much stuff in the shed. Like, there there just isn't. So I'm like, um, okay. So I just said, screw it. I, if we have an extra tree, and that tree was getting ratty anyway, I guess. But, like, seriously, all my ornaments, every single ornament I ever had, oh my God. I'm so mad. If that's gone, if there really is no tree, Somehow, the only thing I can think of is this summer I had somebody come and clean up the yard and maybe somebody was in the shed and like moved them to the so outside and the guy that cleaned up the yard like took them. One's brand new in a box. It's the one I wanted for the outside. 
unbelievable. And I bought the one, the new one that you saw in the front yard. I bought that. Where are the trees? Freaking crazy, crazy. Like he was looking behind the couch. I'm like, honey, I would know if there was a tree, a Christmas tree behind the couch. Like, I think I know that. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so, so far, life, let's see, one, two, three, PJ, mm, nothing, <laughs> so, but I'm still happy, I mean, I just went and bought a six foot Christmas tree with multiple color lights, because Coleman hates that my Christmas tree had white lights, even though I like that, he doesn't like that, so I said, all right, I'll get multiple color this time, and I have no ornaments. I have nothing to put on it because it's all with the other tree. So we'll see what happens. I I have like random shit in a box that like I didn't use on the tree. The boxes were there, both boxes, not Christmas tree boxes, the plastic boxes. They were there, but no Christmas. Like who would go and steal your Christmas trees? Old, like one of them was new, but that was the little one. The big one was like old, it wasn't new. So weird, so bizarre. <laughs> anyway, going to work tomorrow. Hopefully I can get this video up. I'm hoping when I go home, somehow miraculously, something changed in my computer and it goes, voila! I doubt it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. It's just one of those kind of days. I gotta go to the pharmacy and pick up some prescriptions. And, uh, <sighs> already got the tree. I got really cute bows for the front yard. You know how I had the ones that were like, they were made out of like what looked like, I don't know, cardboard color? I got new bows for the front yard and they are um, plaid. I love plaid. Not bad plaid, good plaid, but I love plaid. So, can't wait.